In today's video, we're going to take a look at what's been buzzing around YouTube and the internet just lately, which of course is AI, artificial intelligence, and PowerDirector has brought to us AI background removal tool. We're going to take a look at that, and we're going to take a look at the AI image creation tool, which is still in beta. It's coming up. That's right, we're getting a little bit creative today. But first off, I'm going to show you how you can add an FX track down to your timeline. That was a bit of a mouthful. And then I'm going to show you how you can replicate some AI styles just using FX. I'm Harvey Roberts for Permanent Tourist in Helsinki. And today we're going all out AI. We're going to use PowerDirector's AI background removal tool. I love this. It works a treat. It just... It's flawless, basically. There's only one big downside to it, and that is you can't edit the mask when you've used it. Maybe in a future update, who knows? I'll keep you posted. And then we're going to use the AI image creation tool. Now, this thing is still in beta, but it produces some of the most amazing pictures. I have been having an absolute blast with this. I've been creating all kinds of stuff, weird, and some of them are really good. So we're going to use that to create a new background for the one we're going to delete. <laughs> now, as always, don't forget to watch out for tips and tricks throughout the video tutorial. Let's open up PowerDirector to get funky with AI. Do people say funky anymore? <laughs> so we create a new project. Let's import our media files. We're going to use this handsome guy here. Let's open this up and we're going to use a pre-cut. Now I'm going to drop this down onto track two. And the reason being is, of course, because we're going to generate our own background, which we're going to put on track one. Now, if you notice down here on the timeline here on the track, there's a little line here. We can reduce the sound to zero, which is wonderful because we don't have to link on link the sound files anymore. Very helpful. Now, if we double click this open or click on edit, we can go here and look at the AI style plugin. Now, I've downloaded a couple of these, the Mane Mane and Impressionist, the Chinese traditional paintings. They look nice, but I haven't downloaded those. And the same goes for the Vincent van Gogh because <laughs> I've seen his paintings, uh, they don't really impress me very much, but still after downloading these, yeah. And what happens is if you click on this, you can see what happens here and they are really gaudy. They're just not nice. That is terrible. And this one just makes it even worse. <laughs> so, what is that all about? And then I went to these and I'd look at these. I thought these might be a little bit better, but wow. Just terrible. Look at this one. I look like a 1960s Welsh coal miner. <laughs> But one of them actually caught my eye and, oh, look at that, this self-portrait. I looked at this and I thought to myself, I can replicate this with the effects because that is pretty bad, but I can make, I can make it look a lot better. So let's not use the AI style plugin. I hate that. And what we're going to do is we're going to add an FX track here underneath track two. So to do this, you can click anywhere inside this with your right mouse button doesn't matter if it's over the icon here we can right click add tracks and you get the track manager now there's a dedicated button for this so if i just switch that off and if you go here right on the left hand side you'll see this add additional videos this is the dedicated button for the track manager click it once track manager opens up now what to make sure that they're all zero this is zero and this is zero and right at the bottom here you can see it says effects so we need to add a track here and we want it to be below track two so change this below track two and click ok and now it's added an fx track for us here so we don't actually have to keep dropping our fx onto the track we can use this so let's go to fx of course, style, because we, we were just looking at the AI style plugin and then go to style again. And then we can look at these. And if you just click them once, it'll show you exactly what you've got, what you're looking at. Now, some of them, 
they're just as bad as what the AI style plugin is. <laughs> it's just terrible. They're quite, they're quite bad. But this one, pencil sketch, that gave me the idea before that we just looked at. I thought that was quite nice. But the one we're going to be losing, of course, is the Chinese painting, which gives us this drawing effect. And the reason we're going to do that is because I'm going to add a watercolor effect to this. So let's drop this. Now, normally you drop it onto your track. Of course, we'll, we'll be doing that a little bit later. But for now, I'm going to drop it down here onto the FX track. See that? Drag it along. Make it the same size. And now you get this drawing effect. Let's double click on the Chinese or click on edit. And now we can modify its effects. So it is a brush size. The brush size is just a line size, basically. If you increase it, it goes really radical. Not too good. But the gray degree, now this can, if you go to the right hand side, increase it, you get this really wonderful vector effect. Look at that. That is pretty sweet. I'm going to drop it all the way down because I'm going to make this my own color. And of course, the masking type you have too. You've got the box and the circle. And the modify, of course, is just basically you can change its size and move it around. We're not going to be doing any of that. And of course, if you invert it, you get the opposite effect and the feathering does exactly what it says. Let me just reset that. Drop the grey all the way down. That's what we're looking at. Now to give this a nice watercolour effect, just go back to media file and bring in the same clip and just drop it on track three. Like so. And you're saying, yeah, that's not watercolour. <laughs> Don't worry. Now I'm going to drop the sound down again. Now above the there's another line here on the track you can see. Now this is the opacity slider, but it, this one doesn't work as good as the edit one. I'll show you. If, if I drag this down, you don't get a live view until you actually release the mouse button. So I'm going to drop this down to, let's say, 54. And you can see it's quite bland. It's, and it's, it's, it's not actually very nice. So I'm going to double click or click on edit. And I'll move this up and you can see there's an opacity tool here. Now this gives me a live view. So when I move this, you get a live view. Now if I go down this to 54, it's, it's a different, it, it, it's, it's left the color in. I like that. This is a much better way to, to use your opacity than directly on the, on the track. So I, I'd highly recommend you use this. I'm going to drop this to 50%. Of course, there's an advanced button, which, which of course is keyframing, which is beyond this tu uh, this tutorial. I'm not going to be doing that. You can see it just you can anything keyframing. So now what we've done is we've basically got a nice watercolor pencil effect on our video. So let's remove the background. So make sure your track two is selected. Double click or open edit if it's not open already. And here you can see in the menu AI background remover. You have two options, a blurred background, transparent background. You can't choose either of those until, of course, we've clicked on this square button above it. Now, underneath here, it says only human figures can be cut out. This is not actually true. Um, basically, what this should say is only foreground figures can be cut out. Um, I've tried this a few times and with other stuff, um, yeah, but this, if I click it now, it does an absolutely brilliant cutout. There's no jagged edges anywhere. If you wanted the blurred background, you can go to the blurred background. It works really well. We're staying with transparent. Of course, there's advanced, which of course, again, is keyframing, which we're not using. So let's just run this without any background in and you'll notice there's no glitching anywhere. Look around the air, ears, absolutely brilliant cut out. I can't be, I can't tell you how, how good that is. I couldn't have done it any better myself using masking and manual cut it out myself. That has worked absolutely brilliant. And so now what we want to do is of course we want to bring in our own background. So. Let's close this down. Make sure we're on our media and just here on, underneath the media, it says AI image generator. Now this is, says it's in beta still, but it works absolutely brilliant. 
just click it open and you get this window now we're not using portrait we're going to go to scenery because we want a background so let's click on scenery and you you have several options of course now i i favor very much steampunk i kind of like that idea the minimalist is also good as well for this so i'm going to choose minimalist for this one and then we're going to type in what we want it to be now i'm going to choose american style diner and then just click on generate images here if you don't have any idea what you want to do you can just click on inspiration and it'll come up with something for you but just click on generate images i'm going to leave this in real time so you can see how quickly this goes once it gets to about 60 percent, it goes really fast and then you'll generate four images for you boom there you go see and there's the four images look at this it's so cool brilliant right i like that one that is really nice and then there's this little button here that says add to library so i've chosen this one i'm going to add it to my library it shows here this button here all of my creations all the things i've been messing around with if you want to look at those so add this to my library and now it tells me exactly where to find it in ai generated images so in my media ai generated images thank you very much we'll close that down and close that down and now you can see we have our images here now i've been messing around with this of course a lot i've been using this old english style motorbike garage i did a american style fire department building from the steampunk which was very very cool i like that a hotel room we did something with watercolor i did the cartoon one I even did a an American firefighter truck in steampunk. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. I love it. I love messing around with this, but we're messing around with the diner. So I'm going to bring my diner in, which is which of course is this what we just made. I'm going to drop this onto track one and I'm going to spread it out all the way to the end like so. So it's the same length and you'll notice straight away. Ah, oh, it's all now pencil drawing, which it is because of our fx track is now affecting all the tracks above it so let's resize that so click on the eye icons here on the line all three of them like that make sure this is selected choose a zoom option go to 25 percent so we can see how big we're going to make this you can make it as big as you want i'm going to make it just slightly bigger and i'm going to move it up a little bit somewhere around there that's good put this back to fit cool and then just bring our eyes back online now obviously you don't see this until you click on one of the tracks cool right now if you just play this along and that's what it looks like brilliant cut out looks very good but we want to make it a little bit better so let's just stop that there i don't want to do that i'm going to close this fxi so it's not affecting it in any way now if i remove this also to track three if i switch this off as well it gets really bright and you can see it's it's it looks a little bit weird so this is helping the opacity is helping it keep it a better level for me i like that We want to bring our effects back of course you can just drop them back now onto our track so we go to effects chinese painting drop it onto our track here drop the degree down excellent or you could just increase it give it that vector effect look at that very very cool and there we go perfect cut out brilliant background all done with just a few mess arounds here at the beginning you could actually switch this off produce this and then you could actually keep bringing it in on all kinds of other things the cutout was absolutely brilliant i love it have fun with that so there you go messing around with ai works a treat absolutely wonderful 
try it for yourself, see what you can come up with. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, don't forget to check out my channel for all things Power Director and more. That's my rant for today. Have a great day. Stay safe, people.